Forward, forward, forward. That was brilliant. Great, uh, great result for the lads. Um, this is why I told you, I told you, didn't I, on Turfcast, I said at the, at the end of the season, last season, I said we're going to trounce the league. And I think this is why, because I, because I genuinely felt that we had a far more solid unit um, of, of players that could basically go on and do... You know, do the job that um, that that VK's team did two seasons ago, and um, yeah, I just I just thought it was a, a, a an an amazing result. I think um, I, I mean uh, Kaliosho, man, haven't we missed you, man? He was he was he was awesome. Just the pressure, you know, the constant pressure he was putting on the defense, um, and yeah, I I mean it was it was uh, it was an all round great performance today. Um, I thought, I mean, yeah, having, uh, you know, Esteve and uh, O'Shea in the back, you know, rock solid. Um, you know, I, I think it was, it was funny because I realised towards the end of the game that the only time I was really kind of, when I, when I was kind of feeling edgy was, was, you know, the beginning of the second half for like 10, 15 minutes when Luton were all over us. And, and I realised like, you know, it was so unlike any game that we've, that we've, that, 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 um, that we played under under Vincent Company because there was always that that I, I just think I just think S Scott Parker is basically showing showing us what it's really like to sort of manage a team. He, he's you know he's got different ways of of, um, of skinning the, the opposition and you know he, he can just read an opposition and he, and, he, and he sets the team up as it's meant to be. The thing is with VK is he was very much a you know, a one horse pony, and 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 if and if it didn't work out, he would just keep because of his his belief in the team. He would just he just wouldn't have any any other other option, and he would you know he would believe that the team were able to come back. But the point is, with Parky, he's able to set things up from the beginning, and then I think it's kind of shown that I think that the team actually knew what they were what they were doing today, and I think that's the important thing is being able to treat every game individually and to basically set the team up accordingly, and. um yeah, it was just it was just a yeah a really great all round all round performance. Um, it was great to see um, Trafford, you know, uh, trying to boss the box a little bit, and you know he, he did pretty a pretty pretty good job. There was one chance when he came out and obviously he missed it, hit the crossbar, and he was lucky to um, get the you know pick up the deflection. Uh, but um, yeah, it was just really uh, an awesome game and. Um, the thing that I really liked about it, and even the commentators were saying about the fact that, you know, like, the the we we played as a unit, like everyone was playing together, and um, and even when we were four one up, we were still going for it. We still wanted to get another goal, and it showed, you know, and and a good example of this as well as like Kolyosha when he's you know he was running four when he eventually got brought down. You know, he could have gone down so many times and got the free kick, but he didn't want to. He wanted to, you know, he wanted us to, to get another goal. And I think that that's, I just love the fact that we've got the youth in the team, you know, having Bear, you know, centre of the park. I thought I thought that was a really good idea. Um, and, you know, just because of the pace and the skill that he's got. And obviously for him to get that goal, but um, Vitinho as well, like the amount of chances he had, it was like, man, this guy's got to score. And in the end... You know, Foster was amazing the way he actually lost the lost the ball in in our half, and then and then he just got it back, and he just friggin' you know he bossed it all the way back up, and yeah, it was oh, it was brilliant. So I think it was a really good performance. It showed that you know we can really go on and attack teams, you know, good teams away from home, and and the thing is, and when we're under the cosh, like we were at the beginning of the second half. We can basically overcome that, you know. We just we just have to basically slow things down. Basically, when when Zorori came on, that was when we were able to kind of slow it down a bit, um, and then really get get our foot on the ball, and and then and then we started to get possession back, and then uh, you know, and then and then obviously we went on and scored again. So um, yeah, in, in a funny way, I also quite like the fact that Vegos came on. I, I was like, yeah, let's yeah, maybe Vegos can score, you know. So I don't know, you know. We'll see if he stays. And I mean, I guess he probably wants to go. But what what I what, I guess what I like is the the fact that we 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 played so well today as a unit. And I'd like to think that maybe players that were looking to maybe go, maybe they might be sort of maybe they might be thinking twice about it because they're like, oh well, you know, this is it's a good thing we've got going here, and it's a you know it's a good result the team are playing. So you know, um, yeah, I'd like to think um, you know. Well, I guess Sanderberg's probably on his way. 
Uh, but you know, apart from that, no, I, I just thought it was great. You know, and the fact that we've we had such a great bench as well. I mean, you know, be, you know, good to get you know Benson on at some points. I mean, even J Rod, you know, on the bench. Um, and yeah, but what a what a great start to the season. And um, up the Clarets. <laughs>